have heard of the World Olympic and Commonwealth gold medalist Katie Archibald, but now her brother John is emerging onto the track cycling scene. Katie claimed her second national title in as many days by winning gold in a thrilling women's scratch race, while John won his maiden national crown thanks to a brave solo attack in the men's points race, plus two bronze medals into the bargain. Well, I'm delighted to say that John joins me now. John, congratulations. Do you tell us more about your fantastic weekend. Yeah, well, um, it was a total shock to my system, really. Um, went in there with very few expectations compared to what Katie has uh, piled on her in terms of pressure and uh, came away with a, a nice British Champions jersey and then a couple of other medals as well. So, yeah, I'm delighted. Talk us through the races. Um, well, uh, on the Friday night, it was uh, my main event, the Endoidro Pursuit, and uh, that's the one I'm normally targeting in the future for things like Commonwealth Games. So I took away a bronze in that one, which was um, you know re really great to kick off the weekend, but the... The race I won um, on the same day as Katie was the, the points race on Saturday and uh, basically uh, what sealed it was a, a lap gain on the field um, sort of midway through the race where uh, I attacked off the front and had you know, a massive crowd there that night uh, cheering me on which made a massive difference um, and then uh, caught the field to gain the 20 points for the lap and uh, just had to sit and hold on and hope that nobody else managed the same. Um, and so uh, then won that medal and then on Sunday had the uh, team pursuit with uh, three other um, team members from KGF and uh, we managed to take the bronze in that one as well. So three medals in all for the weekend, so it's yeah, excellent. A terrific weekend for you. How did you go into each particular race? I mean, do you approach them differently? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, two of them are more uh, time trial events where it's just getting everything out of your, your system on the day and uh, making sure you pace it right. Whereas the, the event on Saturday, the points race, is more tactical and there's uh, more uh, moving parts to it where you've got to pay attention to what other, other racers are doing. Um, but definitely, um, I had, I'd watched Katie's scratch race uh, before I started my race and she'd won it in such a thrilling sprint finish that, uh, you know, the, the, whole, the whole crowd was buzzing, everyone in the track centre was buzzing. And it was an adrenaline rush before I even got on the bike. So I started that points race, you know, all boys up and ready to go. Um, yeah. Sorry, there are some great shots of your sister, Katie, cheering you on. Did you notice that? I mean, did it make any difference to you? No, it definitely does. I mean, um, you, normally you've got your, your head screwed on, you don't hear anything, but in that occasion, I could hear the crowd surging every time I went round, and then I could hear Katie, and I could actually see her on the track side. Um, and then I had teammates there as well, from Scottish Cycling and K Team KGF as well, I could hear cheering. Um, it's sort of thing you wouldn't think makes a difference, but it just gives you that adrenaline where you think, right, we've got to dig in and really push on here. And what makes your win and indeed those two bronzes even more special is the fact that you haven't actually been riding on a track very long. Is it as recently as six months ago that you started? That's right, yeah. It was um, a sort of an ambition to try and qualify for the Commonwealth Games. Um, I'd, I knew I had a sort of uh, a natural ability for sort of four minute high, high VO2 max events. Um, and so I saw the pursuits as something I could be good at, um, but I hadn't really tried it until sort of July, August last year. Um, and I've come on and had really good success with it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, in the next few weeks we can still make more progress. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just brilliant, isn't it? And what's your main aim with this? Do you want to get into the Commonwealth Games? Is that your main target? That, that, that's the original target, yeah. So uh, the Scotland team gets announced on February the 14th and uh, I'll find out who's going to, to Australia. So hopefully I've done enough there to put my, my hat in the ring for it. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing where it goes. And is this a, a long-term future for you, do you think? Um, I'm not sure at the moment it is. Um, I think uh, I've, I've taken some, some time off work. Uh, we've got family and business selling beds um, that Katie's been involved with as well at some point, actually. So I've taken the time off to focus on this Commonwealth Games goal. But um, I think something miraculous might need to happen for it being a, a long term career. But uh, enjoying it for now and seeing how long I can string it out for, really. Make the most. Yeah. Tell us about the British cycling setup. I mean, from Chris Hoy to Katie and others, it does seem like it's a, a good breeding ground for champions. Absolutely. I mean, um, just the, even just the availability of the velodrome and starting to see that in Scotland now too. And the, they've built the velodrome in Glasgow and now there was quite a few Scottish medals down, down in Manchester at the weekend. Um, some of them now based in Manchester on the British programme, but they only got there through having access to the velodrome and things like that in, in Scotland. Um, so that effect is going gonna, is gonna to pass through. But uh, certainly the, the setup that cycling have is, is uh, working wonders, yeah. And have you found that you know things have improved here in Scotland? What do you think of Scottish cycling at the moment in competitive terms? Yeah, I mean absolutely. And, and I mean I can't, I'm not sure what the exact medal count was for the Scottish guys, uh, uh, British, uh, just just 
the game, but uh, but definitely but it's looking it's looking good because um, we struggle we struggle a lot in, um, in being competitive sometimes down south, uh, especially I know when, and there's a lot of road guys I cycled with in the, uh, in the road cycling where we go down south, and it's just a different different kettle of fish. Uh, whereas on the, now we've got access to a track, we've got the facilities. Um, it's, it's really it's, it's fair game, and uh, I think we definitely proved that this weekend. Great stuff. Well, well done. Many congratulations, John Archibald. There, and good luck with your Commonwealth ambitions. Thank you. Travel.